This episode of D News is brought to you by the all new G Flex 2 from LG. Life's good. Water repellent metals? Yep, that's a thing now. <laughs> Hey gang, Amy here for DNews. We've all seen corroded metals, whether it's the wall of an abandoned building or an old pipe that sprung a leak. Metals corrode because we use them in environments where they are chemically unstable. Only copper and precious metals like gold, silver, and platinum exist in nature in their metallic state. More common metals like iron are processed from minerals and unstable, particularly in the presence of water. Preventing corrosion usually means adding a chemical coating to a metal surface, making it hydrophobic. At CES 2015, Belgium-based Europlasma, a global leader in low pressure plasma technology, showcased its nano coating technology for the electronics industry. The nano fix coating makes any electronics highly water and oil repellent. The problem with any kind of hydrophobic coating is that they can wear off. But we might not need these kinds of chemical coatings much longer. Two scientists from the University of Rochester recently led a team that developed a laser patterning technique that makes metal hydrophobic without the need for any kind of coating. They've also used the same technique to make metals absorbent, metals that can pull water along uphill on a surface. It all comes down to the pattern lasered onto the metal. By creating an intricate pattern of micro and nanoscale structures on the metal surface using ultra-short powerful bursts, structures that become an intrinsic part of the metal and give it new qualities. This process can make an ordinary metal a multifunctional surface that repels water and absorbs light. This process makes a surface so resistant to water that droplets actually bounce along its surface. It's actually more slippery than Teflon. A drop of water would roll off the laser metal if you tilted it to just 5 degrees. This kind of resurfacing could have widespread applications. Metal surfaced in this way could prevent rust and corrosion and simplify issues of anti-icing. In developing countries, super hydrophobic materials could make rainwater collection far more efficient and create toilet facilities that are far more sanitary. In parts of the world lacking clean water and healthcare, these would be significant applications. But but we're unfortunately a ways from that happening. It currently takes an hour to pattern a one inch by one inch square. The process will need to develop before it can be applied to large scale structures like toilet facilities. But still, it's pretty exciting. So what do you guys think? How cool is it that we can change the surface properties of a metal with lasers? Let us know in the comments below or you can grab me on Twitter as AST Vintage Space. And don't forget to subscribe for more D News every day of the week. This episode of D News is brought to you by the all new G Flex 2 from LG. Life's good.